and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be looking at the Detect Alls add-on. I have done a little bit of um, moving around of the, well, a big change of the storage system. Um, basically replacing it with, with the drawers, which is something I've been meaning to do for a bit now, but i um, just today decided to do after the recording of the last uh, add-on review. Um, yeah, this one's probably going to be a short video because it just adds one feature. Uh, it is a quite interesting feature, so I want to take a look at it. Here we go. Detect Ores Guide. What, what's a detector? It's a fancy tool you use to detect ore, hence the name detectors. Yes, we think it's clever. Not uh, that clever, how do I use it anyway? First, to craft the uh, base detector ore, you'll uh, need a redstone circuit and a few other bits and the uh, pieces. The easiest way is to check your crafting guide by opening the crafting table with at least one ingredient. Try redstone dust. So, get a redstone dust. Now, let me go into survival. There we go. So it said we needed a redstone circuit with his, which is four redstone repeaters and four dust and a sand. I might be wrong here, but do isn't that the, like, the exact same as like uh, what add-on was it? Was it the uh, yeah the computers add-on? This made by the same people. It might be. I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure that's the. Recipe you use for like the uh, computers as well. So four or four, uh, four dust, four repeaters, and a sand block. Do did I? I don't think I did. Oh no, there it is. Boom. And then that'll make you a redstone circuit. So you have the base detector, which is iron and copper with the, with one circuit. Then you have the advanced detector, which is the basic one, plus a circuit, plus gold and diamonds. And then you have the ultra detector, which is the advanced one with two skull sensors and an amethyst crystal. I'm just going to give myself three redstone circuits. Real quick, give... Happy Redstone Circuit 2 So I can make all of them yeah. Hello Lily Lily wants to go, I'll be right back yeah. Alright, so uh, Let's get crafted, uh, well let's read the book real quick uh, so yeah, that's the uh, yeah, that's the recipe. Uh, detector. So that's how you yeah. So all these things. So how do you use it? Put it in your hotbar, select it, and use it on the ground. You'll see a ping appear indicating the, the direction of the uh, scan. You can scan in all the directions depending on what what face of a block you use it on. So it was what was it again? <laughs> Uh, basic, so it's three copper, one iron. Oh, why did I put the copper all the way up there? One, two, three. And one iron. That's quite, it's relatively cheap. You'd still need a diamond pickaxe to get the redstone. Uh, not diamond, you need an iron pickaxe to get the redstone. Detect. Or interrupted two blocks down. Here. Oh, so it's interrupted because it's air below me. If I go down, say here. Three blocks down here. Okay, let's... Uh, 
I stand on this copper ore, I get a found copper ore right here. Uh, so if I go uh, down here, uh, in Tropicals 14 blocks, well this would actually be pretty good if we're finding caves as well. And throw up to 30 blocks down air. Oh, I'll just show you here, it'll say coal right there. And then you've got iron here. This shit will say iron. Oh. Hold on. Where? I said jump you. Oh, he's gone. Oh, go away. Yeah. Alright. Uh, direction range 0 to 50. Not to detect ores through deep slate, amethyst, skulk, liquids, or air. Ah, that's its limitations. Cannot detect through or through deep slate, amethyst. So, yeah, so it's only good against stones. And this is stone, and this is all the ores it can detect. Minimum depth, minimum detection depth, 50. A maximum, not minimum. Why do I, anyway, ping volume. Yeah, so there we go. So if I point in that. Okay, it's not letting me do it to the sides. Oh no, you, uh, you can't do it on air, you need to do it on the block. So, 30 blocks is air. Oh, coal four blocks. There, so I dig one, two, three, four. There we go, coal. Yeah, this is pretty good. It has a really good ve uh, range. It's a bit annoying that the base one is interrupted by air because, you know, there's a lot of caves in Minecraft. Well, like I said, you could uh, probably utilize that to uh, find uh, uh, cave systems and light them up if they need lighting up. Right. Let's uh, craft to the next one. So, uh, blah blah blah. How far does it scan? How do I do that? Any other tips? Yeah, if you're in the uh, director while not facing a block, it will open the settings menu. You can choose which block it will detect. Where until the people find my base where I have my gold and stuff di displayed. There is one special block that prevents all of the detectors from detecting. It's called the Far Faraday Far Faraday cage. If a detector signal hits one, it will return back the same as if it hit nothing. So craft a bunch and line your base with it. So this, uh, this, and uh, nobody will uh, be able to detect it even from there. So yeah, let's have let's take a look at these Faraday. Uh, oh, would be good. In zero. Uh, Faraday cage. It's four ba iron bars and four wall copper. You get eight Faraday cages. That's pretty good. So if you want to hide your key, uh, if you want to hide your base, grasp that. So let's see. There's the advanced sword detector, which is two diamonds, gold. Uh, not so one, two. One. Oh, how many gold ingots? There we go. Now I got the advanced ore detector. Uh, this model can detect f ore through deep slate, but it cannot detect ore through amethyst, skulk, liquids, or air. So still, you're again interrupted by air, which is annoying. But if I go all the way down, I can go here and just like boom. Uh, deep slate redstone ore, 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12 redstone ore. And obviously this would be useful for like uh, no ore, so yeah, no ore found. Uh, I'm stuck in a hole. So no ore found, no ore found. Yeah, well you put right, so if you're using this to mine and you're like doing some mining and you want to check go some directions in case there's some ore that you've missed or something. Um to make your strip mining more optimal, which is that the um circumstance I would see you using this in. So you would want to so say I used it here, so yeah we can see that there's lapis four blocks in that direction. Then we go one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five blocks is optimal. Because, yeah, you got all there, and then it's not going to be a single. Then you got one block, and yeah, so like four, four blocks. So one, two, three, about four blocks away. Right click, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and just keep doing that. One, two, three, four. So the range, uh, what was the range again? So the range on this is a hundred blocks. So this is scanning a hundred blocks in that direction. So yeah, uh, what if we? Interrupted by uh, 76 blocks up. Yeah, so you do you do have to land right on the block to find it. You can't like land right next to it. Which makes that a little bit more interesting. So uh utilities extra utilities if we go into game mode one. Scan as these ore scanners so and uh, I don't know so well uh, these do a free a free by free area if I remember correctly but the range is much shorter only being seven blocks if I remember correctly uh, now I have talked with the creator of the essentials add-on quite a bit since my last review of the the update video um, and it, uh, he has said he does plan on uh, uh, you know reducing the cost of the uh, of the ore scanner so he does it so that uh, all of them below diamond won't require any um, any echo shards so that is good, and this isn't super expensive. I honestly, I would honestly say this is better because even though you get the three by three area with the ore scanner, uh, ores they don't really like spawn in a um, in, you know in a single vein typically. Like, I think it is possible, but very 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 rare. Uh, and it's just a single ore, so even if it does happen, it, you're not really missing out on a lot. So you don't really need a 3x3 three three area. Um, so having this just be a 1x1, one one, especially if you're doing dive mining, if you're doing dive mining then you really don't care about it being 3x3 three three area. So in my opinion it is better. Uh, now let's see the ultra detector. Well, in his amethyst crystal, which I do have, but I don't have two spook sensors. So let me just get them real quick. Yeah, that piece. Go. 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 Ah, there goes. Go. Sensor. I need two of them. And we can craft this one. The ultra ore detector. So this one. Oh wait. This can detect through all materials. 
from zero to a hundred blocks away. So no ore found. Yeah, so yeah, this is actually really good. So yeah, it's so uh, it being also upgradable is cool. So this one's uh, this one is really good because you can sort. Okay, so is there any ore going a hundred blocks down? Nope. Nope. Oh, found some copper ore 50 blocks down in that direction. Now, it does appear to have durability. Can't tell exactly how much durability. Maybe that's a bug or something. Can this be enchanted? Then, if this has durability, if it has durability, being able to enchant it with mending would be good. So, let me just go to game mode 1. And now let's see. Uh, no. Here we go. Gent box. Oh, I didn't want to break that one. It cannot be enchanted, so I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if it. So it does lose durability, then I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, gold. Good. Here you can just like pretty much just like spam. Just be like, oh, nothing. Oh, found some copper ore down here. I want to go. You could go get that copper ore. Oh, found coal down there. Oh, well, that was lapis ore. Does it work on never ore? Yeah, never gold, never quartz. Does it work on ancient debris? I think I have some yet. So I'm just gonna put ancient debris here. Yeah, it works on ancient debris, so you can do this in never as well. Deep slate redstone, gold. Now, uh, if you're looking for diamonds, it might be you'd have. To, right, what, what would the up? So it's typically around deep slate. So. Uh, it's a bit of, hold on, if I go into game mode 1, so diamonds spawn mostly at w around y uh, uh, negative 58, so if we go 100 blocks up, so that's, so 0 is 58, oh, that's bad. Uh, so that's 242. They so get all the way up to 42. And now here, you will still be te detecting all a uh, dime the diamond ore on the you know on the optimal layer. Probably go a couple blocks down if you want to get the like few extra bits of diamond ore. But anyway, but then. So like, so what other ore would you get from like doing scans here? So uh, let me just get up here. I would like it noted down like eight, the optimal level for each ore. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So you, so we are currently at, uh, what was it? It's 42, so anything below Y42. So you'll be getting the optimal uh, you are the optimal level for diamonds and redstone, iron, a gold, not coal, not lapis, and not copper. So yeah, gold, iron, di diamonds and redstone. Yeah, because everything else is above here, because like copper is Y49 and 50 or 55. Lapis is Y55, Coal is Y55, and Emerald is Y55. Yeah, that's actually pretty good because those are the main ones you want. Gold, Iron, Redstone, and Diamonds. Yeah, Deep State Redstone. So what you'd probably want to do 
Is you'd probably want to. Hold on. I don't know if there's still if there's pickle working. Creative. So what you'd want to probably want to do is I like, get it. Uh, dig out a big area. And you can gra you'd grab some copper while doing this, because pretty good layer of copper apparently. And then what you would do, or you could just do a regular tunnel. So what you would do is you dig out a big tunnel. And then you detail your cut your ore detector and just like boom, okay. Uh deep slate diamond. That's 72 blocks down. So you go one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. Well, you just keep digging down until you find it, basically. So you just like dig down until you find the, the ore. Yeah, you just like, oh, diamonds, 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 diamonds. And then you just like nerd pole back up. It's a little bit difficult to nerd, it's a little bit slower to nerd pole with this armor because it gives you slow fall. You might want to take bring a bucket of water with you just in case you do or something to prevent like fall damage. So you probably will dig into a cave or something. And you just nerd pole back up. This. I really should sort that water out. Just need to pull up. And then you just uh, keep going. I have made a very. <laughs> Inefficient mob spawner. I can't one shot them about my armor. Oh. Yeah, and then basically you just uh, continue on, just. Yeah. Just move on to the uh, next one. So it's like up, oh, move like two. Well, because this is. Because you are scanning like so many levels, you can just go to the next one. No, 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 no. Ah, copper all right there. Three blocks down. So you will still get copper from this if you want copper for building. Yeah. So you mine up your copper. Or you could just ignore it if you don't want copper. And yeah, I would recommend mining it because... You get up all this copper, then you're not going to accidentally rescan it to later on if like, it, it overlaps with something else. And also, this is pro so... I'm going to test out in a minute what happens if there's like multiple ore on the same... Uh, where, or on the same like bit, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, do you say so yeah it'll just well it just did it there. Deep say tying all forty seven blocks down, so that yeah. So that's okay go well you can just you don't need to need to pull back up or there, you can go down. You get your iron ore, so yeah. Oh no oh, that's not the iron ore I scanned. Oh Oh I'm only still yeah, thirteen blocks down. Uh, yep, there's the safe tying ore. And you can just like, okay, is there any more ore? No more ore. So then you just, uh... So all this, what this reminds me of is, uh, it, if you've watched Hermitcraft, 
uh, you would have seen like Reen's like uh, ver uh, vertical mining strategy, which is like uh, designed to not get as much ores and stuff, uh, but to, to like get more like building blocks, like the uh, you know like andesite, diorite, granite, uh, stone, uh, cobblestone, gravel, and all that. Uh, hold on. Uh, and I very much uh, like that it's using the, the Skulk Sensors instead of the Echo Shard because uh, of one big thing, and that's Skulk Sensors spawn outside of the... Um, outside of the... whatchamacallit, outside of the end cities. So, they're a lot easier to get. And it actually, make, in my opinion, it does make more sense for it to be a Skulk Sensor rather than a, uh, whatchamacallit, rather than a, uh, Echo Shard. Yeah, and if I, I'm gonna spam it for a bit and see if the durability does go down. Alright, so either this has a ton of durability, or it's just not going down, which makes me wonder why it has a durability bar. Which, which will also explain why it doesn't say that there's a durability up here with, with my durability viewer. So I think it doesn't have a durability, but it has, still has a durability bar, so you, de you don't have to worry about spamming it and it, and it breaking. Probably. Because I've not seen it budge a single pixel and I've spammed it quite a few times here. So yeah, you don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, hmm. Hold on. Oh, I could have sworn I heard a different sound from it. Oh yeah, those, I was just hitting the stone bricks, that's why. Just me being silly. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, did... Uh, so yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend this video. Uh, not this video, obviously I recommend my videos. But I would definitely recommend this add-on because it is, pretty, it is pretty cool. Not too expensive and it is quite handy. And it actually does majorly change up one of the uh, uh, biggest parts of Minecraft, so that's the, that's the mining. It changes up how you, you know, what's the most efficient way to mine now, because, you know, if you if you want, because with this, you can scan 100 layers of, uh, you know, deep slate and stone and all that. So you, you're not only just, like, scanning the most... Uh, um, whatchamacallit, the most, uh, you know, like, diamond dense layers, but you're also scanning the less diamond dense layers but, uh, for that extra bit, and uh, the, I think, I don't know if it, right, so I'll, this might actually be the first, uh, uh, I don't know, I actually might do a, uh, not update video, but a, well, yeah, like, a kind of, like, comparison, comparing it, comparing it to, uh, uh, vanilla, seeing how fast you can, you know, how fa how many diamonds you can get in like an hour of mining with this thing compared to an hour of mining, you know, without it. Um, just on that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video. And uh, don't wait, I need to get. And bye bye, uh, Lily.